Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metal Works, and in this week's video, we're going to catch up on what's been going on for the last couple of weeks. Alright, so it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a video, and uh, I'm, it's kind of a champagne problem. I'm, things have been so busy that, uh, that while I've shot some video here and there, I haven't actually had a chance to put anything coherent together. Um, normally when I do a video, I try to keep to a theme, right? I try to keep to a project or some particular task at hand or, or something along that, those lines and um, in this case, I have not been able to do it and it's a direct reflection of just how crazy life has been um, just since moving into the new shop. Um, you know, I, I still have my day job and that's been picking up. Things are going really well there. Things are going really well at the shop. Uh, so what I decided to do is I decided, I was going through the, what video I had, and I decided I'm gonna pick two topics, right? Um, one topic is around a, hey, did you know, sort of thing. And the other is on a new product line that I've been developing with uh, ProLock Colors. So, uh, if you've seen any of my Instagram stuff, you've probably seen some pictures of this already. And so you're already aware of what I've been working on. But um, there's there's a couple of things that we've been working on, some new products. And uh, I've been doing some work for uh, a local uh, local ag company in town as well. So uh, it's been keeping me busy. So let's let's get to the first, uh, the first of the videos, which is the Hey Did You Know. And this is around uh, cutting expanded metal. Right, so um, let's let's go. I'll I'll play some video and then we'll we'll come back to it. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, so the little dash so on at least on hypertherm uh, plasma cutters, and you'll you'll find this on other plasma cutters as well. There is a um, there's a setting typically for uh, for cutting across um, you know open you know, gaps or things like that. Um, in my case, I was cutting expanded metal. First time I cut this thing, it sounded like a machine gun going off to me, and I'm just like, whoa, what is this? You know, um, timing was all off. Uh, for those of you who understand headspace and timing, but um, yeah, so it was it was just kind of uh, kind of interesting. I, I know there've been just some discussion lately on uh, some other channels about whether um, people should leave that on all the time or not. You, you shouldn't leave it on, and here's why. Uh, what that setting does is it turns on the pilot arc and it leaves the pilot arc on for an extended duration. Um, in fact, I think let's let's look at a clip to see what it looks like if it doesn't establish an arc because eventually it will it will shut off. Not happy about that at all. I lost the arc too. All right, so you've seen you've seen it cut. You've seen it keep the arc, you've seen what happens when it doesn't establish an arc. But effectively, it keeps that pilot arc going the whole time. Well, if you run like that for a long time, it will, um, it will erode your electrode a little faster. At least that's been my experience with it. Um, your mileage may vary, but at least my experience with it has been that um, it will erode your electrodes faster. So I don't leave it in that setting unless I know I'm cutting over big gaps. The other thing that I have to do, at least on um, my plasma cam, and, and you should do for systems that are doing dynamic height control, is every time it goes over one of those gaps, it's gonna lose that uh, voltage. Uh, you're gonna have voltage uh, change. And so uh, you should turn that off and use just a, a fixed uh, fixed height setting. So um, that's your little plasma how-to tip. Um, from here, let's let's switch over to the, uh, the other part of that.
So um, one of the things that I did recently, and actually I want to thank Jim Bollinger on this one. Um, I know he and I joke around about uh, you know, do right aided design and, and, and things like that, but um, you know it was definitely time for me to upgrade my MIG. Um, my MIG, I, I was doing much thicker welding than I used to do at the old shop. Um, over the course of the last year, I've really, you know, uh, the kind of welding I've been doing has, has definitely uh, changed. Uh, much less around uh, thin sheet metal and getting more into some structural things, things that had you know some real heft to it. Not anything like what some of you guys have done, but you know I was regularly uh, and I, I am I am absolutely regularly welding quarter inch uh, plate, and that quarter inch uh, like for these these wheels that uh, I'm going to show you here in a minute, um, there's an hour's worth of welding per wheel. On this thing and I just blast through it with the new welder so Jim and I talked and uh, the power mig 256 from Lincoln has been just an amazing machine I uh, you know I guess I live in a blended household now um, I got an awful lot of Miller stuff and uh, the Miller equipment has never done me wrong but for the price and for what you're getting this Lincoln has just been really really solid and so um, you know definitely I uh, definitely has uh, done the job for me and I've been able to just go and go and go and like I said an hour's worth of welding per uh, per uh, wheel um, but that poses its own set of uh, challenges so let's take a look at that Well, that was a good time to take a break for a minute because, um, frankly, whenever you're welding round things, this is something that you're going to have to watch for. Uh, you see how I've got it up and elevated right now. Uh, I've got it on some blocks, and then I'm using uh, the center to push down in the middle because, um, as I did the, the other side, it starts to dish, right? Uh, in fact, what it does is, as that metal cools, it, it draws up, and it forms like a big bowl, right? Well, this needs to be pretty perpendicular. So flip it over, raise it on the outside, push that dish back down. I did lay a little bit of the weld right in the middle, get some heat from the other side too. And then as that normalizes and the things start to get better, it's going to start to soft, you know, relax a little bit. You're know, keeping that constant pressure on it, it's going to straighten it out a little bit. And then as I continue welding, it's going to draw the opposite way and it's going to start to, um, to take up any of that dishing. So, yeah. yeah, it takes about an hour to weld each one of these uh, wheels, but uh, um, we're getting there. A little out of time. All right, so that's it. Um, the only thing left on this one now is uh, seam where the flat bar goes around it um, and this thing is, is done it's nice and flat again it's drawing everything back and uh, you know sometimes it's just about understanding that metal is going to move on you and uh, just planning ahead for it so i'm gonna get back to this but i'll talk to you again soon <laughs> all right i am gonna have to go it is sunday evening little ones it's almost time for bed but uh anyways i just wanted to get something out the door for everybody you can tell the hair is getting long, the beard's not trimmed off. It's been that crazy you know, the last couple of weeks. Um, but um, I want to say thank you. Uh, oddly enough, I, I saw you know, when I was looking at my analytics that things just keep growing. So uh, even, even when I wasn't posting. So thank you guys. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thank you for those of you who support me in other ways like, uh, like Patreon. I, I really appreciate that. Um, I know I haven't put a... a uh, top you know, contributors list up in a while, but um, I, I really do appreciate it. I'll, I'll have an update going um, on Patreon very soon. If you, if you guys aren't familiar with what Patreon is, and I'm sure most of you are, uh, it's just a way that you can get some insight into, um, well, it's another way that you can, another channel that you can use to support uh, support what I do here. I, so I use Patreon personally as a way to um, give people a little uh, more 
inside uh, access on, on what's happening. Um, and actually, it's a much more informal discussion, a much more two-way kind of thing. So um, if it's something you're interested in, check it out. If not, don't sweat it. I, I don't. You know, I, I really appreciate those of you who are supporting, but uh, you, you know, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not pushing it either. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you uh, like this kind of video. Um, comments are always uh, welcome. Uh, with that, I'm running out of steam, folks. I better get going. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Now, because I'm having a hard time. Hey, guess what? You're on air.